What is up guys, welcome back to the Evo X engine build. This will be episode four, where we are doing all of the timing components and also I will throw the valve cover in at the end. So if you wanna know the torque specs and the torque sequence on the valve cover, go just skip to the end of this video and it'll be in there. Uh, in episode three, we did the head install. Episode two was the whole short block build. In episode one, was getting all of the clearances done for the short block build. So feel free to check those out guys. I'll have a link in the description box below. So the first thing is we need to get the cams aligned properly. We need to have both marks facing each other and at the top of the timing cover or the top of the head to be right here. And we want the motor about halfway in between the stroke. So when we open and close the valves, the valves are not hitting the pistons. So we're gonna set the cams first and then we're gonna go back and get the crank. Uh, top dead center. So as you can see, I hope you can see, let me get a, let me shine some light on it. This mark here, this mark here, are directly facing each other and lined up the top of the head. So now that we got the cams ready to go, we can set the timing cover on and get the crank at top dead center. So simply just set the timing cover on, slide it on, no need to bolt it on or anything. We're, we just need it for the timing mark. Set on the crank pulley and the T right on this cover here lines up with the mark on the crank pulley, which is down here. So simply just turn it over until the line, so that line there lines up with that T. We are now ready to install the timing chain. As you can see, there's a few copper plates on here, copper plate there, copper plate there, and a copper plate there. We're gonna want those three to line up marks on the cams and the one on the sprock or the crank sprocket. So set that get that copper plate to line up there. That one there. And then loop it down. The copper plate lines up there and then there should be four right in the middle of the the cams. So that copper plate lines up with the intake cam. That one lines up the exhaust cam dot. There's like a little indents in the cams with some paint on them. This one down here lines up with the crank sprocket dot. We are now ready to install the time chain guides. Set that one there with Set that bolt on. There's this other guide over here. All three bolts are the same. Set that on there. And make sure you inspect your guides before you use them. You don't want to be using broken or worn guides. And also there's a guide for the oil pump uh, chain we need to set on. I'm gonna run around and snug all these up. We are now ready to install the timing chain tensioner. So we're gonna make sure that this chain's on properly and the, that copper link is lined up. Cause it tends to like to fall off. Like so. I'm gonna put some pressure on that chain. 
apply it on the tensioner. You just want those snugged up, guys. If everything's lined up and good to go, all the copper plates to the dots, we can pull the pin on the tensioner. It's an automatic tensioner, so it'll tighten it automatically. And now we can go around and torque all of the hardware. All of these, the 10 millimeter heads, the six millimeter threaded bolts, they all go to 17 inch pounds, guys. Last but not least, we need to set on this oil squirter for the chain. So it goes here, make sure. Probably not the safest thing to do is to suck inner blue on it, but make sure it's clear, free of debris, and we can install it onto the motor. You gotta make sure that hole on the pipe goes into the motor. Throw that in. And that also will go to 17 foot pounds. Might as well go over and double check everything. You don't want a bolt falling out on your timing because that's very crucial. One more thing we need to install is this top guide. Slide it through, thread these bolts in. Make sure nothing's touching that, make sure it didn't get bent. We can just snug these bolts up. Now the only thing left before putting the timing cover on is to swap out this front uh, crank seal, or the front main seal. So just simply grab a screwdriver, pop that out. Grab your new seal and oil it up a little bit on the outside edge so we can get it to slide in easy. Now we can simply just tap it in with a rubber mallet. The timing cover is now ready for install, so let's flip it over, make sure the gasket surface is all clean. Let's wipe down this gasket surface here. Once again, need some brake cleaner on it. And also wipe off the oil pan because that will be getting sealed also. Now we can grab our sealant and apply it. We're going to be applying to the oil pan and to the engine itself. Make sure you go around all the bolt holes as well. And on these inners, the main bolts, we need to seal those. Just put a smidge on those guys. You can let that set up for about five minutes. And as that is setting up, we can clean the valve cover and the cylinder head where the valve cover sits to seal that up as well. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that valve cover in. Now as we have that sealant for the timing cover drying, we can install the valve cover seal onto the valve cover. So that's ready to go. We are now ready to install the timing cover onto the motor. Simply just pick it up and slap it on. Grab all your timing case bolts. Remember guys, there's a few on the bottom holding the oil pan to the timing cover. So you don't want to forget those. This center, one right here, has the bolt has the copper washer on it, ceiling washer. So make sure that goes on there. Go ahead and snug these guys up. Now we can install the valve cover. We just set it up on there. So the torque sequence on this valve cover guys is it goes one on this top corner, two it's right here, then three, four, and so on. So I'll show you guys, I'll, I'll have it on the screen. And they go to 27 inch pounds and then retorque in the same order to 49 inch pounds. That is gonna wrap up this series of videos, guys. I hope there was some helpful information in there. If there was, please give this video a thumbs up, and if you enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about torque specs, or if you need any, even any torque specs for anything else uh, not related to the motor. Uh, leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.